Today we're taking a look at the ABM081 Stella from Seedu, an ultra budget hot swappable wireless mechanical keyboard. Thanks to Seedu for sending this one over for a review. Check out the video description below for discount affiliate links for this keyboard or use discount code KEEPFACE site wide on SeeDoTech.com for 5% off. Now I can only see the euro prices on the Sidu website where this should be at its cheapest. The fully assembled version, which is only available in this white colorway, comes in at 65 euros and 95 cents, which converts to around 70 US dollars. The bare bone version, which too is available in the white colorway, but also in this very nice black colorway, comes in at 48 euros and 95 cents, which converts to around 53 dollars. Considering this is a gasket mounted wireless hot swap via programmable mechanical keyboard with full RGB in this customizable LCD screen, this really is getting down towards the rock bottom price you could expect to pay for this specification in a ready to use keyboard. There's not much in the box on this one, a switch and keycap puller, a braided cable, the manual, some stickers and the fully assembled and ready to go keyboard with a dust cover. I didn't expect to find much more in the box for a keyboard at this price point, but I do like to see a couple of spare switches with these fully assembled budget boards regardless of the price. While the anime branding is not my thing, I really don't mind the look of this one. Also, all the dampening in plastic budget keyboards these days gives them a bit of weight in the hand, which helps them feel a bit more substantial for me. The keycaps are MDA profiled die sublimated PBT and passable for a fully assembled keyboard at this price point. The keyboard has two sets of feet for three levels of angle adjustment and the 2.4GHz dongle is quite neatly stored adjacent to one of the feet. I can't find an exploded view for this one but I can see there is plate foam and an IXPU switch sheet and the website specifies there is also case foam and PET sheets so this one is packed with foam as you'd expect. The switches are the Seedu Carder linears with a bottom out force of 60 grams and 3.5 millimeters of travel. The factory lube job on the stems is okay but they haven't applied any lube to the springs which may be a problem. The stabilizers are plate mounted and appear to have some factory lube inside the stem and around the wire. With all that in mind, let's have a listen to the typing test. In terms of the general sound and tone of the keyboard, it's pretty much what I expected, but I was surprised and impressed by just how deep and marbly it sounds. It's the sort of sound profile that most newcomers to the hobby will be looking for, as it's definitely in the thocky category, not clacky. In terms of the build, the stabilizers are good, but there's a lot of switch ping which is disappointing. For me, the switches need disassembly for donut dipping the springs. In my opinion, I really see this as an entry keyboard into the hobby for those who want to spend as little as possible to start off with, while getting some nice features for the money. I don't think there's much on the market for $70 which gets you this list of features and a decent typer out of the box, so I really think Seedu continue to deliver on their line of ultra budget plastic keyboards with the ABM081. And that's it, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.